going to demonstrate here. There is what is called consideration. There is what is called consideration. And consideration is an amount which is inclusive of what? Inclusive of what? So we are saying, if you are purchasing something and there is fat in that uh, uh, item, then the price of that item, then that's a consideration. And then there is also what is called value of supply. Value of supply. So this one is amount before value added tax. Before VAT. Or amount excluding VAT. So what are the implications of having a, a consideration and what are the implications of having a value of supply? When you, have, you are dealing with value of supply, for you to get that, you simply multiply the figure, the value of supply, by 15%. Because 15% is our standard rated uh, VAT for 2019 that we are dealing with. So you just say 15 over 100, multiply by the value of supply. Then you get your you get your VAT component in those figures. Then when you are dealing with a consideration, there is what is called tax fraction, and that is the one which you use to get or to extract VAT from such a consideration. And what is the tax fraction? It's R over 100 plus R. R over 100 plus R, where your R is the rate of tax. So this one is the rate of tax. And when we are talking about 2019 tax legislation, we are talking about 15%. Then in 2020, it's, it's now 14.5%. So how do you then you apply this tax fraction to extract that from a consideration? You then say usually your standard your R is the standard rated rate for for common goods so which is 15 so you say 15 over 100 plus 15 which is 115 so you use uh, 15 over 115 when you are dealing with a consideration and you use 15 over 100 when you are dealing with a value of supply we have a question and that question will determine what we should use from the facts of the question and then we will see how we apply these things all right so now i want to illustrate to you uh, what i was talking about uh, when we were saying uh, that is a multi uh, stage collection of text so we are going to have some hypothetical figures which will assist us to see how uh, VAT helps governments to keep afloat. So I'm going to have a table here. Illustration. So my title there, I hope you'll be able to see that. It's illustration of value added tax as a multi-stage collection of tax. So on my table, I have the net uh, VAT, net VAT. Then here I have um, output tax. So I'll just say OT for output tax. Then here I have my sales. Then I have IT for input tax, that IT is for input tax. Then here I have my purchases. So let's assume the originator of an economic activity is a manufacturer. Let's assume it's a manufacturer. So we have a manufacturer here. Manufacturer there, 
And let's assume just some hypothetical figures. This manufacturer is acquiring some commodities or purchases at $1,560. So what is the fact in that uh, in those purchases? We will simply multiply this by 15%. So if we multiply this by 15%, we have uh, 234 dollars 234 dollars then let's assume this manufacturer is going to sell these commodities at 2100 2100 then we are saying what is the fat what is the output it takes in that uh, cell you multiply this by 15 percent and you have 315 uh, dollars 315 dollars so how much is paid to Zimbra uh, when the manufacturer has completed this transaction. So we are now saying the output tax, which is your 350 here, less the input tax, which is your 234, and you have 81. So the manufacturer, after selling this commodity, uh, remits that to Zimbra. Then let's assume we have a wholesaler here wholesaler and the wholesaler is the one who is paying the 2100 and the tax of uh, 315 there then let's assume a certain selling figure let's assume he's selling at three four thousand three hundred and three thousand four thousand three hundred is attracting a value of 645 so how much will be paid to Zimbra? We are now saying 645 minus 315. And I'm getting here 330, 330. And this wholesaler is, is selling uh, to a retailer. Selling to a retailer. And the retailer is the one who is paying uh, the 4,300 and the VAT of 645. Let's assume a certain selling figure of 4,860. 4,860. And the 4,860 is attracting a VAT of $729. That's 15% of 4,860. And then the net VAT, if we say 729 minus the four, the 645 uh, as input tax, we get uh, $84. $84. So that's what the retailer will have to, uh, to remit to Zimra uh, at the end of the transaction. So we is paying this 4,860, that's the final consumer who visits the retailer maybe to acquire some commodities. Examples of retailers are like OK Supermarket or uh, your pick and pay. So the retailer, I mean the, host, the, the consumer walks into the retailer and makes this, up, uh, this purchase. Then for the, for the retailer now, we say this is his sell and this is his purchase. So the in output tax, you less the input tax, and then the net part is then payable to government. Then what is the total there? And we have in 495, which is the total amount that government uh, receives from this transaction as it moves from the manufacturer to the wholesaler to the retailer until it is consumed by the final consumer. So at the end of the day, the, the, the government, in total, they would have received uh, $495. What is the advantage of a multi-stage collection of tax? The main advantage is that, for example, if the manufacturer decides to dodge tax, meaning the manufacturer does not pay his $81 here, it doesn't pay this $81, the government will at least still get the $330 and also the $84. And if it is the wholesaler who decides not to pay, the government will still get $81 and can also get the $84 from the, the, 
from the retailer. So at least uh, the, 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 the risk is being spread here and it assists the government to get uh, something out of uh, those transactions. Unlike in, under the sales tax system, under the sales tax system, there was no tax on the transaction between the, wholesale, the manufacturer and the wholesaler because the, uh, the, the, the trader would have a sales tax number which he provides and he produces and then the uh, sales tax will be suppressed. And then also when the retailer is acquiring from the manufacturer during the sales tax regime, then you will produce a sales tax number uh, and certificate, sales tax number or sales tax certificate and then uh, sales tax will be suppressed.